What's going on guys, welcome to a new video. So in this one, I'm gonna show you a proven, successful and profitable Shopify dropshipping store. The store I'm gonna show you today has generated over 900,000 US dollars. However, what's interesting about this store is they focus predominantly on a UK market. They are also dropshipping a product which is readily available on AliExpress and their main source of traffic and income is currently coming from Facebook and Instagram. So in terms of a dropshipping business setup and model, this this really is as simple as it gets. So if you're watching this video and you still haven't started your business yet and you're looking for a direction to go in and the easiest way to get started, then this is the video for you. So today I'm gonna to show you exactly what their store looks like. I'm gonna show you exactly what their best selling product is. And I'm gonna show you exactly what the Facebook ad creatives have been using to generate these numbers. This is something I've been doing every single week on my YouTube channel. So if you want to watch a video like this every week, don't forget to subscribe. And of course, if you enjoy the video, make sure you let me know by hitting that like button so I know what sort of content you guys want to see. With that being said, thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoy it and let's jump straight into it. So first things first, let's cover some numbers. The story in question today is called Love Necklace. The site age is one years old. The monthly profit on average is in and around £14,000 and this is with a 22% profit margin. When it comes to dropshipping, the average, at least what I've been able to achieve, is anywhere from sort of 10 to 30% depending on what the product is. Some other bits that I want to point out personally because they get skipped a lot when it comes to drop shipping and these tend to be the corners which people gloss over and forget to put their time and effort into so in the about section we can see they say it's a truly one-of-a-kind drop shipping store which has been completely branded branded being the key word in that sentence they also have branded boxes which is super important UGC content which is also super important to your success because original content always performs best on social platforms and they also do it in the unique personalized jewelry niche which is brilliant because when you have personal personalized products, they apply to pretty much anyone. As they state themselves, most of their traffic comes from paid advertising on Meta. So this of course includes Facebook and Instagram. Before we take a look at the monthly expenses, we need a number to work away from, to take the expenses away from. And in this case, they say they're earning 75 grand per month. Their advertising is about 24,000 per month. Their cost of goods is about 21,000 per month. And then they have a virtual assistant, which I'm guessing is to do their order processing, which is about 200 pounds per month. If we take this away from that original 75, that will leave in and around sort of 15 to 20 grand profit, which is exactly what they've stated above. If we take a look at this revenue and profit graph from the last 12 months, this truly illustrates the beauty of dropshipping. We can see back in Jan 2022, so exactly 12 months ago, revenue was zero. In the next month in February, they did 4,000 in revenue. The next month after that, straight up to 28. They had a little bit of a dip. They probably had some readjusting to do after scaling up so quickly. However, within six months, they hit their first six figure month. That truly is the beauty of dropshipping because there is no risk of committing to big stocks up front and you get paid before each order. Then as soon as you've found that one golden ticket, that one product, then the sky truly is the limit because you can scale it pretty much endlessly. Let's now take a look at their Shopify store because again, it's another key component to your success. Using our Koala Expector, we can see they're using the Dawn theme, which is a 100% free theme. So if you wanna build a proven seven-figure business, it just goes to show you haven't got to invest in some crazy custom and expensive themes. The layout at the top here is very typical with a hero image featuring the product with the different product categories and important customer information at the top. Now let's take a look at exactly what that best-selling product is. So even though the store is called Love Necklace, their best-selling product is this bracelet. And I'm gonna show you how I know that in a second. Point out some of the key reasons why I believe the store has been successful then. Number one is the level of customization. So the Dawn theme by default won't let you add these product bullet points. This is a app which they've installed, probably something like this guarantees and features icon. They also have this seamless upload and image add-on. Again, this will be a third-party app which they have installed, but it works so seamlessly. It makes it super easy and super clear exactly what a customer has to do to buy this product. They also have this nice little touch of bullet points, just highlighting some of the different points or thoughts that a customer may be having about the product. And rather than just state exactly what it is, they have a nice icon which represents exactly what that point is about. It sounds silly, but 
Those are the little touches which make it look a bit more professional and naturally draw a customer's attention. Moving down, there's a common theme throughout and it's all built on social proof. The number one thing that you will have to overcome as a brand new business on social media is getting people's trust. People are naturally gonna be vigilant shopping with somebody they've never heard of. If you can overload them and overwhelm them with different customer reviews and videos and gifts, just like these guys have showing real people opening unboxing and using the product, you're going to eliminate any doubts in your customer's mind that you're a legitimate business. And if they believe you to be a legitimate business, there's absolutely no reason why they wouldn't spend their money with you. In the next section, we have some more UGC content, a real person showing the products that they've just bought. As we move down, it's the same person showing the customized box. Again, everything is just legitimizing the business by showing real people behind the brand with real branding. To finish off the product page, they have a very straightforward, however, professional looking FAQ, all the sorts of questions a customer may be thinking before buying a product. It is imperative that when somebody comes onto your store, you answer every single question and every single doubt they have in their mind. Because if you don't, that could be the one little thing that stops them from making a purchase. Before we take a look at where we can source this product from then, let's take a look at what these guys are selling it for and it's for $23.99. Here's one of the first suppliers I found on AliExpress who are selling the product for £6.82. That leaves a profit margin of in and around sort of 15 to 20 pounds. Given the volume that this store is no doubtedly doing, I have no doubt that these guys are sourcing this product for somewhere nearer to sort of three or four pounds. So when you're just starting out, don't worry too much about being super profitable in the beginning because the longer you stay with an agent or the longer you stay with a supplier, the more negotiation power you'll have and the better prices you'll be able to get. I'm just gonna show you this video from the supplier so you can see exactly what the product is. It comes in many forms. A year ago, maybe two years ago, there was a similar product which was a necklace and a lot of people would target that towards dog owners so they could put dog pictures of their past dogs in and it was a super viral product that was very successful. This product is built on the same premise, however, I would still believe there to be a big market to target people who have pets and want to put a picture of their pet in there. It all depends on what sort of content you use. If you want to target people who are going to put pictures of loved ones in there, they're the people that you focus on. That's the creative you make to focus and relate to those people. If you want to target dog owners, make sure that the UGC content you get and the products they order, the products they review, the products they show has a picture of a dog, a cat, or whatever it may be inside. So up to this point, we've seen what a profitable Shopify store looks like. We've seen what a profitable product looks like. Before we take a look at what profitable ad creatives look like, I just wanna take 30 seconds to mention my free training. If you wanna watch it, it will be the top link in the video description down below. And essentially it's an on-demand training which will show you how to build and launch your own profitable dropshipping business in the next 21 days. As a reward for signing up and watching the training, I will also give you a free PDF containing 194 profitable product ideas to help you get started on the right track with the right product and start seeing results as quick as possible. The training is one to two hours long so make sure you block out some time, bring a notepad and paper because there is a lot to be covered as you can imagine starting a new business. So if that's the sort of thing you're looking for a step-by-step -step training to help you get started, make sure you check out that link in the top description below. And with that being said, let's jump straight back into the video. Okay, so onto the ad creatives. We saw in the business listing on flipper.com that they have a predominant focus on UGC content and this is also confirmed if we take a look in the Facebook ads library. So they still do have Facebook ads running, which shows that even today, as you watch this video, this product is still working and it's still profitable. So straight away, the first line is two sad crying emojis with the question of lost someone close. It's a pretty generic product in terms of when it comes to targeting, but it pretty much applies to everybody at the same time because most people, whether it's a relative or close family friend, have lost someone close to them. So by simply reading that and using that as a way to kind of hook people in, it's pretty much going to apply to everybody and therefore everybody's going to watch the video or the majority majority of people will. So upload your favorite photo and let our skilled artisans create your very own customized bracelet. 30% off for a limited time, get yours here. A very simple, to the point and basic kind of ad creative strategy. Let's now take a look at the video ad creative because this is what's gonna sell the product. So straight away, it goes into showing the product and what's inside it. The lady is talking about the product. She's showing real emotion. For all intensive purposes, it looks like a real customer who has received this product and is happy with the product. And that is where the benefit in itself lies with user-generated content because it shows that the business is legitimate because this is a real customer that's ordered the product and received it. Moving on to another example of an ad creative they're using. So love heart emojis straight away. It's a bright 
red emoji that's going to naturally draw people's eye to it. This is the most unique and perfect gift for anyone grieving. After that, the ad copy is exactly the same with upload your favorite photo, 30% after a limited time, so on and so forth. Opening few seconds are exactly the same as the previous ad creative we watched. However, it's featuring two different people with another photo, they must have split tested that initial kind of opening sequence and found that one to be the best, the one that kind of sucked people in and got them to watch the rest of the video. But from that point onwards, it's different actors. So one, two, and I think there was a third one, three, all in different locations, all different people which gives off the impression, and there's that pet example which I spoke about earlier. So all in all, it just gives off that impression that there's loads of people which have ordered this product, happy with the product, and therefore it just legitimizes the business straight away. There's no kind of doubt in anybody's mind who watches this, that it's a real business and they're gonna receive that product. And so with that being said, that covers everything I wanted to in the video. We saw what the Shopify store looks like. We've seen what their product is. We've seen what the ad creatives look like. You've got all the inner components there to go out and create a business that does things in a similar way. I just want to make it 100% clear, I'm not condoning anybody copy and paste this business at all. Take the fundamentals, take the premise, take the things I've spoken about in this video and apply it to a different product, a different Shopify store and different ad creatives. Before you go, I mentioned it halfway through the video. If you are looking for a training to help you get started on the right path, don't forget to check out my free on-demand training. It also comes with a free, 100% free, won't cost you any money, copy of 194 profitable product ideas, just like the one you saw in this video for 2023. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe if you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.